Brian Bush, Field Agronomist for Pioneer Covering Southern Indiana. I want to talk to you today, show you a comparison here, comparing the enlist system to the extend system when we think about off-target movement to susceptible crops. In this block, we have our enlist one system. So we had enlist one with Durango DMA at the approved rates. As you can see here, this is just showing what happens. Well, when you spray this herbicide mix on Liberty Link soybeans, be the same for non-GMO beans or for dicamba beans in this situation as well, the Enlist One system kills the soybeans as we expect it to. And as we look around that block here, we're not seeing any issues where that 2,4-D has moved uh, outside of this block. The wind was out of the south here, blowing away from us at six to eight miles per hour on the day of application. This is about three weeks after, after application. In this block, we're showing Ingenia plus Roundup Power Max at their approved rates sprayed onto the same Liberty Link soybeans. What happens? Well, they kill the Liberty Link soybeans. There's, because there's no cross tolerance in Liberty soybeans to the approved in crop dicamba herbicides, Ingenia, Fexapan, Extendamax. So we did a good job killing the weeds. We walk here towards the back. You know, we expected the herbicide to move back to the north here. So the wind was out of the south at six to eight miles per hour. So we expected that herbicide to move up here and you know show some symptomology here on these soybeans. The frustrating part is somewhere after this application, we also had the herbicide pick up and move to the northeast. So as you can see here, all along this side, we've got damage to the Liberty Link soybeans here and also to the Enlist E3 soybeans off to the next block here. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.